Hello fellow painters and decorators, Darren here again and this time in this video we're looking at the XVLP spray guns from Vagda. Now I've got two models behind me, a few spray attachment options and I want to also in this video show you a little bit more about how you change the settings on the gun itself. Let's take a look at the models here. I've got with me the Finish Control 3500 XVLP and the Finish Control 5000 XVLP. Now immediately out of the two differences you'll notice that the 3500 is basically an all-in-one handheld device where you've got the spray gun with the air unit uh, attached and so everything is in that one handheld device and you simply have the four meter power cord attached. Whereas with the Finish Control 5000 uh, you have the air compressor unit that's actually separated from the gun and in this case you will have a five meter air hose that goes from the spray gun uh, to the compressor. So the specification differences of these two guns this is a 700 watt unit whereas this is a 1400 watt unit because you've got the air compressor attached to the gun uh, this is a 2.3 kilogram uh, unit altogether. Now this is technically heavier because it is does weigh 8 kilograms altogether. But of course you're really only operating uh, the spray gun portion and you're not holding the whole air compressor. So this is actually a lighter gun to handle than the FC 3500. Out of these two guns, the 3500 uh, sprays with an air pressure of 0.2 bar, which is uh, slightly under th uh, 3 psi, whereas the uh, Finish Control 5000 sprays at 0.275 bar, which is about 4 psi. Now with both these guns, you're able to use one of three attachments. And for those attachments, there's a nozzle color on each of the attachments. There's a white nozzle, yellow nozzle, and a reddish brown nozzle. The white nozzle spray attachment is the wall spray. And this is for your wall paints. The uh, yellow nozzle is the standard spray, which can do some of the wall paints, but it's more for your lacquers. And for your glazes, you can use the brown reddish nozzle and it's called a fine spray. So between wall spray, standard spray, and fine spray, this is kind of giving an indication of the viscosity of the material you'll be spraying. So when the viscosity is uh, quite light, if it's very fine, you're able to use the fine spray. And if the material is a bit uh, thicker, that's a higher viscosity material, then you'll be using a wall spray. If you want to get the attachment onto the device, if you want to change it, there will be a small uh, release at the bottom just close to where the can is and you just hold that down and if you just give the gun a bit of a twist 90 degrees and that actually just releases the spray attachment from the gun. So it's very simple to release and take off the cans. In fact when you're spraying with this you might find you might want to have uh, one or two extra cans of material uh, so that because all the material is just being used between uh, the container and this portion of the spray gun and the air is moving uh, at the rest of the unit here, you, there will be less cleanup because the material is simply just working through the container and the nozzle. And that does mean that if, for example, you're switching uh, colors, then you could just simply pop off uh, one of the spray attachments and just pop on another spray attachment with a different color and you'd be able to keep spraying. So they, they call this the, the click and change or click and paint uh, method where you just have maybe one color paint in one of your tins and you can just pop it on spray and then you want to change, pop it off, pop on another color. So that makes it very handy if you're having to switch between different colors very frequently. So let's just take a look at some of the uh, settings on the spray gun itself. You'll have uh, adjustments for your air and the direction of your spray fan and the width. So let's maybe start right in the front of the nozzle. So we have a small little lever that you'll be able to 
just move, maybe if I turn it this way, we can move it left and right. And at the top of the nozzle, nozzle there's actually a symbol that's indicating a small fan or wider fan. So at the moment I've got it on a smaller fan width and if I move it across, now I've got a wider fan width. If you're wanting a vertical or horizontal fan, you'll be able to just adjust the nozzle by turning it 90 degrees and that will give you a vertical or a horizontal fan. So between the front of the nozzle, the direction, vertical, horizontal, or how wide or narrow you want the fan. Then if you move uh, back towards the spray gun itself, in the middle here we have another adjustment and this is for the material coming through. And if there are numbers here, we've got it goes up to, let's see, a 12. So it starts at one and it goes up to 12. And that gives you the ability just to adjust how much material is coming through. And then right at the back of the gun, uh, we have another adjustment setting and this is for your air pressure. So this gives you quite a lot of customization for just exactly what type of fan you want. There is also a lock, unlock at the top here but this you won't really need to use at all. It's simply just to release the part that is protecting a filter underneath. That's really only when you need to change the filter. You won't need to touch that otherwise. If you may be using a particular nozzle, but you just want to change out the cans, perhaps you're working with slightly more material there that you want to maybe have an extra can that you can just pop on and you don't need to be refilling then you can also buy an extra container. So this can also be handy if you may be working between if you're working with different uh, colors or you're just working with a, a bit of extra material than you used to, you might just want another container. And that also means you can just seal it uh, and then use the material again afterwards. And there you have it. This is the overview of the Wagner XVLP spray gun range. And we spoke about the Finish Control 3500 XVLP and the Finish Control 5000 XVLP. Thank you so much for watching, and if you have any more questions or queries about these devices, please leave them in the comment section below. Uh, and if you want to purchase one of these guns, we'll also have the product links and a article so you can learn more in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great spray.